Now, in your command line, it should say something like C slash program files slash guild wars, whatever. Wherever you put that in your computer, that's what the line should say, and it should be in quotation marks. Now, anytime we're going to add a command, we're going to put a space after the last quote and then dash, and that's where we put our command. So once again, right after the last quote, you're going to put a space and then a dash, and then that's where you enter your command. All right, now I'm going to explain most of the commands you can put in, and I'm going to go into more detail on the more important commands. All right, the first one we have is dash BMP. All this does is saves your screenshots as a .BMP file. So if you're a Guild Wars professional photographer and you want nice quality screenshots, then you put this dash BMP into your command line. The next one we have is dash DX8. All this does is runs your game in DirectX 8. Now the only reasons you'd want to do this is either if you have a really bad computer that can't handle the latest version of DirectX, which is pretty sad if you want to go back to DirectX 8, so I'm hoping none of you have to do that, or if you want to just take a blast from the past and see what it feels like to run it with a bad renderer, which really doesn't do much except for makes the game look worse. So honestly, if, you, if you're into that stuff, go for it. Now this next one is very useful for if you're installing the game for your first time on your computer. It is dash image. Now this will download every single update and every single game file onto your computer. So instead of having to load every single map after you install the game, you can just have this go overnight and then every file will be loaded. It's also nice to do every once in a while just to catch yourself up to anything you missed. It's, it's very useful. The next one we have is dash mute. I sure hope I don't have to explain what that does. Alright, these next ones I'm going to explain, in my opinion, are the most useful ones you can use. Dash password, dash email, and dash character. Now you can use these to auto enter account information for you. So first we'll start with dash password. What you're going to want to do is in the command line, you do the same thing as usual. After the last quote, you put a space, then you dash password, then you type in your password there. Doing this will have the game automatically start at the character select screen, so if you don't like typing your password or you just want to save some time, this is a very useful thing. But one warning is, if you have people in your house, like your brother, your sister, your mom, or your dog that play Guild Wars with you, and you don't trust them, then you might not want to do this, because they can just click Guild Wars and then steal all your Ectos, and that's not good. So be careful when doing that command. The next ones are dash email and dash character. All these do are fill in the email for your account and the name of the character for the security question. Now you could just check the box that says remember my info. So this is pretty much only useful if you have a bunch of accounts you log into and you want to like switch fast. Now you can put more than one command in. You just got to put a space in between each dash. So you can have a whole thing of your password, your email, and your character name all in one and just automatically log into that account instantly and you could like save them in a word document and with each individual account you have and paste it into the run menu each time you want to access a different account. It's very quick and easy. And the next one we have is dash no shaders. Again, this is just another one that makes your game quality worse but runs faster, so this is another one to use if you have a really bad computer. It just takes all the shades away from the game and it looks pretty bad. And the last one we have is dash uninstall. I really hope I don't have to explain that one either. Now that's the list of the ones I see as the most useful, and the most useful ones I think on that entire list are definitely dash password, dash character, and dash email. I could have made a guide alone on just how to log in faster with using dash password. Now there are some more. There's a list on the wiki. You can look it up if you want. I'll put a link in the old sidebar. Now, the remaining ones I see is kind of useless. Now if you're like a computer nerd and like tweaking around with stuff, then you might want to check those out, but I pretty much explain the ones that you might ever end up using in your lifetime. The other ones are just for fun or maybe support, help, all that other stuff. So you can check those out if you're interested in learning about more commands. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this uh, interesting, different, micro, whatever you want to call it, guide. If you have any questions, you can PM me in Game is Doombox, or if you'd like to join one of my Kurzik guilds, you can also PM me with any questions you have about it. Or if you're a guild leader looking to join an alliance, you can also PM me with any questions, and I'll explain stuff to you. All that good stuff. This week's Viewer of the Week's video file is in a hard drive that I smashed outside with an axe because it crashed and I lost all my data. 
I'm sorry, viewer of the week. Yes, that pretty much wraps it up for this new uh, Doombox Guide 2.0. Yes, very different. We're, we're kind of heading in a new direction here with these uh, Guild Wars videos. It's the new year. We're doing uh, new stuff. <laughs> it seems like every single video I make, I make a little announcement that's like, Yeah, I'm doing stuff I, uh, I don't normally do in my guides. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah. And guess what? I'm going to say that again because... We're, we're, we're making a dramatic shift towards a new, uh, whatever, wavelength of video making weird stuff. Well, the way I see it, Guild Wars is not going to be around forever. I mean, there's Guild Wars 2, but we'll, we'll save that for when the time is right. Guild Wars is not going to be around forever. I'm not going to be playing this game forever. I know everyone watching this isn't going to be playing this game forever, I hope, because there's more to life than... Guild Wars, even though it's a fun game. But what I'm trying to get at is, although Guild Wars may end at some point, or my Guild Wars career may end at some point, I don't want my video making career to end at some point, because I really enjoy making videos. I am, in fact, pursuing filmmaking as a career, so I would much enjoy to continue making videos, and I don't want to lose my fans just because I stop making Guild Wars videos. I'm not saying I'm going to stop right now. No, don't take this the wrong way. I'm not saying I'm stopping making videos. I'm just putting this out there for some time down the road when the time comes where this game is no longer, you know, as important as it is, if you get what I'm trying to say. So basically what I'm hinting at is I'd like to continue making videos even after I stop playing Guild Wars or the game ends. So I want to try and you know, shift towards a different way of making videos without just one day saying, Hey guys, uh, I'm uh, done playing Wars. Now I'm going to start doing other stuff. So yeah, just, it's a slow transition. Just think of it that way. And if, like, like I say every single time, feedback is wonderful. Please tell me what you'd like to see. Any guide ideas, I'm really running out of ideas here. And no, I'm not going to learn how to do these new UWSC builds just to get them nerfed in like a week. And No. The, the Faust videos are on hold. I said that already. You can go watch that other video I made where I explain that stuff if you are into that. But more, more feedback on stuff you'd like to see. I don't know. If you guys want to see me bash more electronics, that seems to be fun. That can be an idea. Or... Reviews, in-depth reviews, angry Guild Wars nerd style reviews, whatever you want to see. So please give me feedback. Thank you very much. And since this this guide was very different, I put a lot on you. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go with an uh, an old school exit, old school leave. So get ready for for a uh, Doombox signing out from the good old days. This is Doombox signing. Out. <laughs>